Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you that have a BMW guys 5 series and I'm talking about generation E39, E60, E61 guys and you're trying to test your fuel injectors. Doesn't matter if you guys have 4, 6 or 8 cylinder engine, the procedure is practically the same how to test fuel injectors. So now first I'll tell you guys do not do it. Do not attempt it. It's dangerous. You can catch yourself and your car on fire. We will show you guys how we do it here at the shop but consider this enter video not a how-to video if you need to buy new fuel injector parts tools for your BMW 5 series check out the links guys in the description of the video below we share them for your convenience and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from number two guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos and why we do that because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information let me show you guys okay what we have here specifically so these guys right here okay you can see this is a six cylinder engine but even if you have a different engine the procedure is practically almost the same we remove the fuel rail okay without disconnecting okay the fuel line that way we still have pressure in the fuel rail if you disconnected your fuel line guys okay and you have your fuel injectors removed with the fuel rail this hole right here it will go directly to your intake valves so you will need to guys build pressure in the fuel rail how you can do that okay you can try to activate the ignition switch on and off without starting and cranking the car okay and see if that's going to do it if that doesn't do it guys okay what we usually do but i will not recommend it okay make sure that there is nothing here that can be sucked in your engine stay away okay make sure there is no rock dust uh, anything guys bolts nuts and go inside the car and just hit the starter for probably about a second guys a couple of times for a second and it will build fuel pressure that's what i usually do but i will not recommend it again consider these guys entertaining video not a how-to video so uh, what we did we removed our fuel rail without disconnecting the fuel line so that way we still have the pressure inside so we can demonstrate how to do that we have fire extinguisher you should have guys gloves eye protection all that stuff now before we start let me tell you one thing guys Check this channel out, Auto Repair guys. This is our main channel and on this channel we have helped more than 75 million people guys. We have information that can save you thousands of dollars on future car repairs. So definitely guys subscribe to the channel and like it. Now we are going to test one fuel injector but all of them are the same way guys. How you can do it, okay, but don't listen to me guys, don't do it. You can connect the wiring harness, you can turn the starter on and you will see if the injectors are spraying correctly. But you can catch yourself on fire your car on fire guys make sure the engine is cold as well so you can minimize that chance what we do we can activate them okay actually uh, with a 9 volt battery okay you have two wires that we need to connect doesn't matter where you place the positive or the negative you can reverse them because it's just a coil that activates uh, it's very important not to touch these two wires together because you can okay burn your fuel injector with that being said we're going to touch it to the okay check it out now uh, actually to the 9 volt battery and check out what's going to happen touch one terminal for a second and the fuel injector should spray check it out now okay let's do again and you can see that fuel injector is spraying really really good so definitely guys a good spraying fuel injector now make sure that it closes fast too because it could be dripping fuel so make sure it's uh, it's closing fast it's making uh, it's making like uh, you can see kind of like fog towards the end should be like foggish looking if it's kind of like leaking and making a string it means it's not good so it needs to be foggish looking but you can see this is a testing and this is a good working fuel injector so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time